can't believe Soggy has his own sub. I know. And then we get this awesome private tour. Welcome to my spooky sub. We'll go much further than six feet under. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I love the spooky stuff. On your right is my favorite sub. T -t -t Tuna! Suppress your fears, little one. We have only just begun. What? On your left is my second favorite sub. T -t Tuna! He really went all in on the tuna subs, huh? Tell me about it. This isn't very spooky, Soggy. Are you just gonna show us sub sandwiches the whole time? Wait till you see the rest in peace. On the starburst side is my third favorite sub. The... What was that? Maybe a fish farted. Maybe it was my fourth favorite sub. Let me guess. The tuna. No. It's meatball parm. I don't think it's any of those things. It kind of sounds like the bloop. Ah, yes. The poop. I'm sitting in my own right now. Not the poop. I said the bloop. It's a mysterious underwater sound that has been haunting scientists for decades. This is the bloop. In 1997, scientists were using underwater microphones to listen for volcanoes in the southern Pacific Ocean when they picked up something strange. The microphones, spread out nearly 2,000 miles apart, all picked up the same strange noise multiple times. It wasn't like anything they've heard before. For years, it remained the loudest unidentified noise ever recorded underwater. This sound became known as the bloop. The sound was originally thought to be whales, as it was recorded at a low frequency, similar to whale sounds. But since it was recorded so far apart at the same time, it must have been incredibly loud and impossible to come from a whale. After many discussions, experts concluded that the sound likely came from somewhere between the southern tip of South America and Antarctica. At the end of every video I make, I put the names of my biggest fans. And you can get your name in there too. What? Just visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo or click the link in the description box. And now back to the bloop. Oh no! My precious subbies! Is you okay? I'm pretty sure they'll be fine. You know, that bloop noise was kind of the scariest thing on this ride. Tell me about it. You know, technically the bloop has only been heard once, but experts believe that they've heard similar sounds that may point to what made the bloop sound to begin with. Is it a fish farting? What? 20 ducks says it's a fish farting. Don't you mean bucks? Yeah, I don't think ducks is a currency. Depends where you are. Who's your duck guy? Is it Charlie? Tell me it's Charlie. What? No, it's not Charlie. Roberta, please explain to this maniac where the bloop came from. Well, it's a bit of a mystery, but experts do have a few ideas. When you listen to the bloop, you're actually hearing a version that is sped up 16 times faster than the original recording. When played like this, the bloop sounds like a bloop, or a large bubble rising to the surface. When played at its original speed, it sounds a bit more alien. Listen. underwater sea creature. But in order for an animal to make a sound that loud, it would have to be bigger than any animal that's ever existed. Others believe the sound came from a secret underwater military base, or some type of special military weapon or device. But the logical answer for what the bloop is can be found a bit more south, in Antarctica. Experts believe the bloop came from a massive ice quake. Ice quakes are icebergs cracking and breaking away from an Antarctic glacier. 
and it's believed that the ice quake that was recorded must have been massive to make the sound that was heard. Other ice quakes have been recorded, and although they were quieter, they did sound incredibly similar to the bloop. Eh, I still think it's a fish farting. And now, our final fright. And it may be your last. Oh, this is gonna be good. I don't know, man. The rest of it was kind of a dud. I doubt the rest of it will be very... <gasps> Excuse me. You guys owe me 20 ducks. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Like every video of mine, there's a super secret hidden coupon code in it. Try to find it. If you do, you can use it to get money off of my merch, so good luck. Now on to my patrons on Patreon who keep this channel alive. Special thanks to you, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Moon and Storm from Arizona, Evan Lee, Hawthorne and Willow Tree, Kuchan115, Xavier Freeze, Connor LeCoke and Family, Max C, James M, Levi and Julian Cooney, Jasper Soares Rex, Jonathan George Chesselton Kent, Gavin Meidel, Sammy Osif, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Un Schumann, Zane and Asher Davis, Sam and Eddie from London, CL and Django Henry, Asher Evans, Colin and Kira Flanagan, Toothless and Light Fury, The Gowdy Bros and Mabsy, Oshi, Alexander, Julian and David, Connor Higgins, Jameson, Nolan and Lily, CJ Coleman, Elias and his fun dad Dave from Saskatoon, Ada S, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Aria Chaudhry, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Logan Miller, Connor and Emma B, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, George, George Monkey, Summers, Erickson and Alexander L, Nolan Jordan, William and Joe, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Laser Rosen, Bodie Turner, Luke Raposa, Penny and Liam Drury, Jonathan Xavier from Indonesia, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Jackson Bear Welch, Sultan, Judy, Nora Rita, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney and Brian, Lennon, McCartney, Jones, Paige, Avalon and Cash, Laney, Maddie, and Henry, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy, and Pepper, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher Crawford, Rebecca Beanie, Stephen McPhee, Maddie Gator, Solomon Caldwell, and Asa Caldwell, Layla Delgado, JJ Schmidt, Lava Liam, Ocean Casey, Max and Kaz, Oliver V and Kristen, Silas M, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Atticus, Jack Hartzler, Julian, Jackson and Jacob, Connor Pendergrass, Roman, Mars, Odin, Tyson and Mocha, Teddy and Josie Burke, Wesley C, Ronan X and Raiden Z, and Jack and his awesome dad. Do you want to get your name in a video, do? I just said do. That's not what I'm supposed to say. But the point is, you should get your name in a video, too. You could do it by visiting patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. Please do it. Thanks for watching, guys. You cannot smell it. He's electric. Hug me like a...